Hello, this is Mike Levin. I brought my Marvel Shiva plug home over the weekend to plan to do the bootstrap work and unfortunately forgot to bring it in, but I happen to have a second. I ordered two, so I will put that together. First I do the unboxing again per my last video. I'm making the decision to connect through the serial port before trying TCP IP. So you plug the mini USB in, plug the other end into your USB port on your computer. The Shiva plug is still not actually plugged in yet to the wall power. So next we connect the power and you plug the Shiva plug in. The standard Windows requester will come up asking if you want to find the drivers. You select uh, no not this time because we actually have the uh, location we're going to get the drivers from. Next, install from a specific location. I happen to have it here on my desk. Okay. Next. Continue anyway. Browse. Crazy Windows. It knows the location, but it asks you again anyway. Finish. Now we have the driver installed for the Shiva plug. Oh, one more time. Same deal. Next. Specific location. It remembers my location. Continue anyway. I guess OK. Browse. Open. OK. Windows is utterly ridiculous. Finish. And there we go. The drivers for the Shiva plug. Oh. One more time. Third time's the charm. Third time's the charm. Now you go into settings, control panel, double click your system, go into your hardware, device manager. In your device manager, you expand your um, ports, common LPT1. And there you will see a new COM port mounted, and it says COM25. Now you can uh, fire up uh, PuTTY, and in PuTTY you want to switch to the uh, serial port, or the, yeah, the serial port, change it to COM25, change your speed to 115. Zero, zero, I believe, and uh, hit open. Invalid port number, I've seen this before. Um, just stand by. Okay, I had tried restarting both the uh, Linux box and my Windows box to no avail, and I discovered the most ridiculous bug in PuTTY.6, which is the latest. And um, what you do is you put in your COM number, Put in your baud rate, and then before you uh, hit open, you actually just go back to SSH and go back to serial. Open. Voila. Command line. Login. Root. No soup for you, which is the default login. Voila. 
now what we're going to do here is I'm just going to uh, poke the brain on the uh, Shiva plug so you can see how a reboot actually works. So I just poke the brain. And it is starting a reboot, nice and clean. And this would be the same as if you opened the serial port ahead of time, uh, or I mean opened the serial connection ahead of time and powered on. So you can actually, in this way, see the Shiva plug during startup, just as if you were connected through a native console, which gives you the opportunity to hit a key on your keyboard to interrupt the U-boot. Uh, process and uh, take control of the uh, startup. Okay, so much for logging into the box now to get it on the internet. You will notice that I still have not plugged it into uh, the network cable. I'm going to take the network cable from my laptop, plug it in to the Shiva plug. And I happen to also have my uh, laptop on Wi-Fi so it uh, will still have its internet connection. And uh, we'll see if we do if config. We, uh, we don't have a, uh, an internal uh, IP yet. So uh, all we do is we type uh, dh clients. And that will make the Shiva plug ask for an IP from the network and if it finds a DHPC server uh, it should respond with an IP over the UDP protocol. The uh, Shiva server will uh, get that IP and it'll switch over to TCP IP protocol. Let's see if it works. As you can see, the lights are flickering here. Oh, moment of truth. And as you can see, yes, we have got a nice internal IP number. And that is a private number. Uh, all internal networks start with either 10 or uh, 198 or some other set of reserved numbers. And now that we're on the internet, I am going to try and do an at get update and you'll see that some uh, necessary directories are missing. So I can't do this one handed. I'm going to type it in the make directory. Okay, so as you can see, I just typed off to make directory commands and then I go back to my at get update and voila. We are now connecting to the um, Ubuntu master repository and it's pulling down all the latest uh, list of available software and dependencies which is a uh, huge advantage of the Ubuntu and Debian platform and this means any future apt gets that I do will be using the latest versions of the software. I might even do an apt-get upgrade in order to um, update the uh, system software on the Shiva plug, but I'm not sure if I'm going to do that yet or just the bootstrap and stay as close to the default system as possible. Again, the network lights are flickering away. We're pulling down the software. Shouldn't take too long if I recall correctly. <laughs> and done.